Let's talk Black Friday and some deals and the rush to score the best deals and find the perfect gifts. It's kicking into high gear this morning. Yes, it certainly is. Retailers hope that this is going to be a record year and hope to bring shoppers into the stores. Shop local, yeah. right? Martin McDonald is live in Troy and it definitely looks a little different than Black Friday's in the past. Where are the lines? Well, you know, no one's sleeping out in a tent, which is bizarre to me because usually that's the thing. But if you take a look, if you saw anything in, say, the Target Circular or Kohl's and you thought, eh, I'm not going to, you know, do the doorbuster thing because there are going to be too many people, too much drama. i got to tell you, this is about the least amount of lines I've ever seen in all the years I've covered Black Friday. And retail analysts say that... Honestly, Americans are going to spend more than they ever have this year, but there's also a large percentage or the largest we've ever seen who say they're not going to spend anything. Take a look. The mad dash for deals this Black Friday is revealing a tale of two holiday seasons. I hope the discounts are as good this year as they are in the past. Americans are expected to shell out up to $859 billion overall on gifts and beyond, which would be a record breaker. Online shopping expected to spike 10% compared to last year as millions order online to avoid the crowds. I'm going to do more of my shopping in uh, online for sure. But the big numbers don't mean everyone will spend big. High income households will spend five times more than lower income households this season, which have been hit hard by rising gas and food prices. And a record 11.5% of shoppers say they plan on spending absolutely nothing on gifts this year. For those who are ready to hit the mall in person, expect to see more people than you have since the start of the pandemic. The energy is different. You know, people are ready to come back. But will shoppers find what they're looking for? Supply chain issues are real. When you go into a store, you may get extra things, maybe a free gift card with a purchase, free gift wrap. And then, of course, you have the holiday music and the, the whole kind of vibe as well. But retailers really do want that foot traffic in the stores. Back here live, retail analysts say the number one thing that people are shopping for this Christmas is clothing. Apparently none of us bought anything last year and everybody wants to get spruced up this Christmas for 2022. We're live in Troy. I'm Mara McDonald, Rhonda Everard. Back to you. Well, that's that's one idea, but I think they're also buying clothing because we've gotten a lot thicker since last yes, year because of the our, pandemic. Our sizes have changed. <laughs> Gotta buy a bigger size. Oh, thank oh, you, Mark. Boy. <laughs> Get a little tight. Get a little tight. <laughs>